Hey friends, welcome back to my channel if you have been here before. If not, welcome! My name is Brittany, but you can call me Brit. I share about healthy, clean living, organization, cleaning with non-toxic products, clean beauty, and more. Today we are going to deep clean and organize one of my kids' bedrooms, my four-year-old son's bedroom and he's going to be helping in a little bit and I would encourage you after you watch this video and you go and organize your own kids bedrooms get them involved too have them help and make it fun play some music dance while you do it make it a game see who can clean up the most toys the fastest teach them how to fold and see who can fold the most clothes have them help and when they are involved working on cleaning their room then hopefully they will be more prone to keep it clean and organized. And when you teach them how to organize and how to fold their clothes and how to hang their clothes up on hangers, then they'll know how to do those skills the next time that their room gets messy. So you won't have to do it all for them. Your kids can be independent and take care of their room themselves. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And make sure you hit the bell button so you can stay informed and up to date on all my latest videos. I am really enjoying making these videos for you guys. I hope you are enjoying watching them. I hope you are learning some things and gaining some motivation and going and doing the same things in your home. Liking and commenting and subscribing are really great ways to support us YouTubers, especially new YouTubers like myself, to get seen, to get our videos in front of more people so we can spread our message. And my message is helping busy moms create a healthy and organized home. So I would love to spread my message and help more moms to live a healthier and more organized life and reduce some of that stress. So if you believe in that mission, I would love if you would share this with a friend and make sure you like and comment and subscribe. All right, so let's get started. The first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna get all the bedding off the bed and we're gonna start washing it. And I'm gonna also wash all the pillows too. And then I'm going to get my bucket of warm water and about a teaspoon of Dr. Bronner's Pure Cast Style Soap and my microfiber cloth. And I'm gonna clean the ceiling fan I'm going to get my broom and dust the ceiling and then I'm going to clean the walls and the baseboards. So I'm going to clean first and then we'll get to the organizing. All right, let's get started. show what I use to wash my linens but you can watch my master bedroom organization video to see how I do my laundry with using non-toxic products one of my favorite laundry detergents to use is Molly Suds but you can go check out that video for more info about doing the laundry so I stripped the bed down and got a load of laundry started with the mattress protector and the sheets. And then once that's done, I will clean the bedspread and pillowcases. And then I will do pillows. And I wash two of the small throw pillows at a time and just one big pillow at a time. And to clean the bedroom, I started with the ceiling. Whenever I clean a room, I always go from top to bottom. So I dust the ceiling with a broom and I make sure to you know, get out any dust and dirt from the broom first so I don't just spread dirt and dust onto the ceiling. So once that's clean, I dust the ceiling and then I also use the broom to kind of do a quick little dust of the ceiling fan. So I just kind of dust the blades and then I'll go back and clean them more in a little bit. So to clean the fan the rest of the way, I use a bucket of warm water with about a teaspoon of Dr. Bronner's Pure Cast Style Soap. If you've watched any of my videos, I'm sure you know that that's what I use to do the majority of my cleaning. And I use a microfiber cloth and just dip my cloth in the soapy water, wring it out well so it's not dripping at all. And then I clean the top part of the ceiling fan, the bottom part, and then in the globe everywhere on the fan. 
then I do the same thing to clean the wall. I use a fresh bowl of soapy water and a fresh microfiber cloth. I did have to switch out my cloths a few times while cleaning the fan and the walls and the baseboards. And whenever they get dirty and they're just spreading dirt on the walls, it's time to switch to a new cloth for sure. <music> walls have taken a beating so I thought we were done with the whole writing on the wall stage since my son Jace here is four years old now almost five but just recently since filming this video he drew all over his bedspread with permanent black marker and on his dresser and while I was cleaning the walls I found several spots of marker or crayon or pen or who knows what all kinds of marks that I needed to scrub out. Whenever we got to a spot where there was writing or something on it, what I did is instead of diluting the Dr. Bronner's way down, I put some Dr. Bronner's concentrate directly on my microfiber cloth and then scrubbed the wall with it. And it did a really good job of taking those marks off the wall. It did not get everything off. There were some marks that were just really stubborn and just would not come out as much as I scrubbed. For those marks, I'm just probably gonna have to repaint, unfortunately. I'm probably gonna wait a little while before I do that just to make sure that Jace is out of that stage and done with drawing on the walls and things so I don't have to paint again. And I'm doing the same thing to clean the doors. I'm using the Dr. Bronner's mixture and my microfiber cloth and scrubbing and getting in all the grooves in the door frame and both sides of the door. And as you can probably tell, I'm not being super strict about like making Jace stay with me and clean with me the whole time. I definitely understand that he is a four year old. He has a very short attention span. I teach him how to, you know, clean the baseboards and I show him where to clean the bottom part of the walls and doors, but I have him help me clean a little bit and then he goes off and goes and runs around for a little bit and then comes back and cleans a little bit more. So definitely tailor this to the age of your kids. If they are younger, you might want to teach them how to do this and just let them help for a minute or two. If they're older kids, then they can definitely be helping more. They'd have a higher attention span and could be more independent. Okay, so it's a few days later. I have free time now to do some more organizing. My husband has a carpet cleaning business and he actually just cleaned the carpets in here. So we had to take everything off the floor that was on the floor and we just piled it up on the bed. So it's kind of a mess right now. And when I organize rooms, like it always becomes more of a mess before it gets cleaned. It's the storm before the calm. All right, so I'm gonna go get my son Jace and we are gonna get back to organizing his room. We finished most of the cleaning. We cleaned the walls, the baseboards, the ceiling, the fan. We still have the windows to clean. I did clean all his bedding. I just haven't put it back on his bed yet. He's been sleeping on the floor, which he loves to do anyways. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and organize while I have his attention for a little while. I'm gonna have him help me organize his toys and weed out and get rid of some. It's almost Christmas time and I organize the rooms before Christmas on purpose so that we can get rid of some things that they no longer play with and make room for some new toys that they'll probably end up getting for Christmas. So I'm going to have him help me organize and then once he gets bored and needs a break then I will clean the windows. Alright, let's go.
Okay, so we're starting by organizing Jace's toys. And what we do first is we dump everything out onto the floor. We make a big mess first. And then we go category by category. So we store Jace's toys in these gray and white boxes. And each box has a different category. So the first category is vehicles. So I'm having Jace find all, we're starting with all the big vehicles. And I'm having Jace decide if he wants to keep it or give it away to another boy and girl that would like to play with it. So I have him kind of think through. If he doesn't play with it anymore, then you know, I tell him that you know another boy and girl would love to play with it. And if he decides that he wants to give it away, then he puts it in the paper bag. And for now, we are just putting those toys in the attic and we will either do a garage sale coming up soon, or I will just end up taking the things to Goodwill. Jace's second gray and white box, we also put vehicles, and we put the smaller vehicles, like his super wings and his Paw Patrol vehicles, all those smaller ones that didn't fit in the first vehicle box. And then in the third gray and white box, we are putting the weapons, so, Jace has some Nerf guns and a slingshot, and then we found all of his Nerf bullets and balls and put them in a Ziploc bag and put them in that box. And then we also have his little play cash register and his play tools. And Jace actually did a really good job of reading out some of the toys that he didn't play with anymore and saying goodbye to some toys that he no longer plays with and he wanted to give away to another boy or girl. The hardest thing with Jace is just keeping his attention and having him stay focused on whatever task I gave him. So I would give him a task like find all the Legos and put all the Legos in a Ziploc bag or find all your tools and put the tools in the toolbox or find all your bullets for your Nerf guns and put them in the bag. I had him focus on one thing at a time and I did have to, you know, give him reminders like, all right, is that all the bullets? Look again, look through all these toys. Do you see any more bullets? Do you see any more Legos? So yeah, it's just a lot of redirecting to be able to finish the job without spending days and days on it. we put smaller things so we put like a bag of Jace's Legos and and we put a box of some pretend food and a Ziploc bag with magnets in it and just some like Ziploc bags full of smaller things went in that last box and then on the next shelf up Jace has these metal baskets and so we dumped the toys out of them and started getting to town organizing those as well. So in one, I put even smaller toys, so like little Hot Wheels cars and little like people that go with some play sets and other small toys like that. And then in the last metal basket, we're gonna put his blocks, which right now his blocks are in his closet. So we'll get them out in just a minute and put them in this metal basket and free up some room in his closet. So his closet is not so cramped.
I also dusted and so I just used my homemade dusting spray and a microfiber cloth just dusted it down before I replaced the basket of toys and I did not clean all the toys I cleaned the ones that were dirty and needed cleaning just because that would take forever to actually go through and clean every single toy like this fire truck here Jace had taken outside and gotten sand all over it so it definitely needed some cleaning so I just used my microfiber cloth and my dusting spray and wiped all the sand away, cleaned it pretty well before I placed it back on the shelf. So we are finally done organizing all those little toys. So we are moving on to the puzzles. So we took all the puzzles down off of the shelf, I dusted the shelf and then we went puzzle by puzzle making sure all the puzzles had their puzzle pieces and put them in the puzzles that they go with. For some of the puzzles, the box had broken and so we put all the puzzle pieces for that puzzle in a Ziploc bag. And then just like with the toys, I told Jace he needed to pick out a few to get rid of and give to another boy or girl just because his puzzle shelf was kind of overflowing and we did not have room to put all these puzzles back on his shelf. So he did a good job picking out a few puzzles to put in the paper bag and get rid of.
into Jace's book. So again, we made a big mess. We got all of the books off of the bookshelves and dusted the shelf off first. And then for books, if you watch or follow the home edit, you know that they recommend putting books in color order. However, I like to put books in order from tallest to shortest size order. So I had Jace help me find all the big books. We started with all the big tall books. And then for each one, I asked Jace if he wanted to keep it or give it away. And some of the like more baby books, I tried to convince him to get rid of and give to a you know little baby that would enjoy them. And then some of the books that were really cute and that I liked a lot, I tried to convince him to keep. So his book cubbies were also kind of overflowing. We definitely had to get rid of some books. Thankfully, we found several books that weren't even his that belonged to his cousin that stayed with us a few months ago and left a bunch of books here. So we put those in a pile to give back to him. A few books he had doubles of, maybe not the same exact book, but the same story like Pinocchio. He had two different Pinocchio stories, and so I had him choose which one he wanted. we have his coloring books but he also had a bunch of papers stuffed in here like papers that we did for school or at church different art projects that he did he would put in this cubby here and so we took all that stuff out again and we first organized his coloring books so we got all his coloring books in a pile and sorted them so I had him find, first of all, like all the Christmas coloring books, and he had a lot of Christmas coloring books. It seems like Santa brings a Christmas coloring book every year, and he does not color nearly enough to keep all those coloring books. So I had him choose, you know, the Christmas coloring books that he wanted to keep, and he had to choose a few to get rid of, and then we went through the rest of the coloring books. Some of the more like educational books we separated and we put them with our homeschooling books. We do homeschool and we have a separate area that we keep all of our homeschool books. So we put those educational books with the homeschooling stuff. And then he has some of those water reveal coloring books that are great for travel. However, he's lost a lot of those water marker things. So I had him just choose a few of the coloring books that he wanted to keep and then the rest we put in a pile to get rid of. And then we went through his papers and sorted them. So I told him, you know, we can't keep all of these papers. So we sorted the like art projects and things that he really wanted to keep. And for those, we have a wall in our hallway leading to our mudroom where we hang up some different like art projects and just great work that the boys have done at school or church, different things, some awards that my other son Jackson got when he was in school before we started homeschooling this year. And then the rest of the papers that the boys want to keep or I want to keep as memories, we keep up in our attic. Each of the boys have a big plastic tote and I file papers according to the year that they completed them and we save them as memories and so I told him he could keep a you know small pile of papers to take up to the attic and then the rest he would have to throw away because we just can't keep every piece of paper that he does 
So he did a really good job of picking out papers to keep and papers to throw away. Okay, and now for his clothes. So what I did is I started with his dresser and then I moved on to the clothes in his closet. So I went drawer by drawer. I got everything out of the drawer. I dusted it. And then I only put the clothes away that fit him and weren't damaged, like with stains or holes. It's gonna be his birthday soon. And both my boys are pretty true to size as far as like when it's their birthday. They move up in size close to that same time or even a little bit before it's their birthday. And so Jace is almost gonna be five. So he's about outgrown his four-year-old clothes. And so definitely if he had any size three clothes, we got rid of them. And then several size four clothes we got rid of. And I did get clothes out of the attic. So a lot of the clothes that Jace wears were hand-me-downs from my oldest son, Jackson. We keep all the clothes that Jackson grows out of in the attic until it's time for Jace to wear them. And so I did get the size five clothes down from the attic and wash them. And I did put them away here too. So the clothes that we decided to keep, I organized and replaced them nicely in the drawers. And I follow Marie Kondo's way of folding. I absolutely love folding clothes like this so that you can see everything that you have. So you fold clothes kind of like you're folding a letter to go in an envelope. Depends on the size of the item. So like for shorts, I just fold them in half and stand them up tall. For shirts, I fold them in thirds. And then for pants, I usually fold them in half and then in half again. And I stand them up and then I organize them in the drawers. So for pajamas, on the left side I put all of the short sleeve pajamas and then in the middle goes long sleeve and then on the far right I do the footy kind of pajamas the one pieces and then for shorts like I put all the swimsuits together and all the like athletic shorts together and then all the nicer shorts and each category I put in color order and then for pants I put all the sweatpants together in color order and then all the jeans and then in the bottom drawer, we have his nicer pants, like for wearing to church or for going out and things. And I put them in color order as well.
Alright guys, so that is it for this kid's bedroom organization. Come back next week for my other kid's bedroom organization. That one is a little bit more squirrely. He likes to squirrel things away in corners, so we'll see what we find in his bedroom when we organize it. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you stay up to date on all my latest videos and be on the lookout for another video soon. All right, guys. Well, from my home to yours, see you next time.